So now we need to define Define dead loads and live loads. So let's start with dead loads. Now, when we do the dead loads, we need to compute dead loads right? per ASC 7. There's that whole section on dead loads, right? weight of materials, attached equipment, blah, blah, blah. And when we do the dead loads, we're going to use a 10-foot tributary width. And this is part of the other reason that I want us to look at 2D models, because it, it forces us to think about behavior. So if I'm looking at just load, right, Grav or gravity load, dead load, live load, I'm looking at this frame right here, right, or I could be looking at that frame, right, same thing. For the purposes of gravity load, the gravity load that's closer to these columns here, the lateral columns at the corners, at the edges, the gravity load that's within that 10 feet, right, we say goes to that. And the gravity load that's here between that 10 foot line and the, the row of gravity columns, we would say that that load goes to the gravity columns. Right? It's obviously more complicated than that. I mean, if I, if I put a load, just a load right there, part of it would go there and part of it would go there. But if I just have a slab, it's a uniform load, I can just cut it down the middle and say half the uniform load goes to the left frame and half goes to the right frame. So what I want to do is I want to calculate a line distributed load, right, dead load, on each floor. So I'm going to take the area distributed load, right, in pounds per square foot or whatever that's in that area, and then multiply it by 10 feet tributary width to compress it down to a line load just to put on that frame. We're going to use a dead load of 80 pounds per square foot so if we do that, then our line distributed load is going to be 80 PSF times 10 foot tributary width. So it's going to be 800 pounds per lineal foot. So we'll put 800 pounds per lineal foot as our W dead load equals 800 pounds per foot. And we'll do that on each floor. Um, so for live load, let's just assume that our W live load, or assume our live load is 50 pounds per square foot, right? And that's for office. And then we would add add, I think we'd add the partitions here. But for this example, we're just going to call it 50. So we're just going to use W live load equals 50 PSF times 10 feet equals 500 pound per foot. So for the purpose of this example, we're just not going to include the partitions and things just to go for it. We could have put them in there if we wanted to. So now what we need to do is we need to define our dead loads and our live loads. So I'm going to put, I'm going to select all the beams, not the column, just the beams. Okay. And then I'm going to say define. I actually don't even think that I need to do this yet. We've got dead. Okay, so we've got dead already, and that includes the weight. We've got earthquake. So before we add stuff, we just need to, whoops, we need to make a live load pattern. Live self weight multiplier zero. Add new. 
This is always weird because you have to push it. You don't push OK. You have to add push this to actually add it to the list before you push OK. I always forget that. OK, so we added a live also. So now when we put loads on it, we can call the loads dead. We can call the loads live, whatever. So I've selected all the beams. So now let's define dead loads for the beams. So I want to define, or is it assigned? Assign frame loads. OK, so assign frame loads distributed. So I want to just assign a distributed load right to the frame. So I want to assign dead. And I want to put right here, uniform load. And I want to put in 800 pounds per foot. So we're in kips, right? So we want to go to, let's go to pounds and feet. So I want to put in 800 pounds per foot. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to point up or down. We'll find out. Right? I don't, don't remember if I have to put negative 800 or positive 800 in there, but we'll see. So if I do that, replace existing loads, OK? OK, so it goes down. Sounds good. OK, so that's my dead. right? So now I need to do the same thing again for my live. So do the same thing, assign frame loads, distributed. I want to assign a live load. I want pounds and feet. And I want it to be 500. Right? And really, this would be maybe 600 or 650 or something from partitions. But we're just going to go with 500 for now. OK. So notice we're looking at live, right? You could toggle it to display dead also. Um, by the way, this little checkbox right here is the display options. That's a really useful box, checkbox. Display sections, display releases, display labels for joints, right? You can put in all the things that you want to look at versus not look at. 